Hello, and thanks for tuning in to the 5-Minute EVE News Update. I'm your host, Alias Zero, and this is what has happened last week in EVE Online. Clarion Call 4 has come out, the latest in the exciting series by Rooks and Kings. Lord Malador has posted on Reddit Online. You can also find it on YouTube. It goes over the rise of the Napok. Uh, they harken back a little bit to the Firewall and Pantheon doctrines that you can see in Clarion Call 2, but it's mostly about pipe bombing and their victims. There is, of course, the general history lesson and exposition, narrated by none other than Lord Malador, as in every other video. And this one also includes a very good POS escape with a Titan, as is seen in previous videos of the Drebuchet and other Starburst tactics. RNK has now been around for about five years, and we're hoping to see more content from them soon. Up next are coming changes within EVE Online. Interceptors are being changed, uh, some of them more than others. The Crow gains a high slot, but loses a low. It's now looking to get a fourth missile launcher. Uh, DPS is supposed to be decreased by a little bit, but early numbers are showing Crow originally gets 92, 95 with Kinetic, and now it'll be about 84 with any. The Raptor becomes more uh, viable with an extra utility mid, but it does become heavier. The Tyrannus and the Stiletto both lose 10k mass, but stay the same otherwise. Malediction now only gets damage bonus to rockets, and the Ares loses a ton of mass, but does get better tracking bonus as well as larger capacitor. Three of the four interdictors are also being changed. The Eris and the Heretic are losing some mass, and their damage bonus is being exchanged for a rate of fire bonus. However, the Flycatcher gains a launcher hardpoint and a little CPU and some power grid. The Saber will remain unchanged. Sinos are being changed as well. The changes are meant to prevent POS bumping and other exploits, and also to increase the risk when Sinoing in a ship to a POS. However, the Sinos will only be able to be lit 25k or more from a force field, and current Sino and Jump Bridge POS modules will be pushed to 25k from the force field. Any future Jump Bridge or Sino POS modules will have to be placed 25k or greater from the force field. In PvP news, BL dropped capitals on lawn and destroyed 26 capitals, 17 of which were dreads, 9 of which were carriers. A user on Reddit has submitted a kill mail of a nester with a plex in the cargo hold. I'm sure that was doing him a lot of good in there. Bluefire was dropped on by Ineluctable. Ineluctable came out on top on that one. Protean Concept, who I lost a Proteus to fairly recently, precipitated a great wormhole cap fight, and you can look online for the battle report on that. Hardcox, the N is silent obliterates a 8 billion isk rattlesnake that had an officer cloak on it and nothing but faction and dead space modules. On September 18th, a massive brawl was started in BR attack. The total kill count as of right now, 5.42 p.m. on my end, it is over 60 billion isk. A fatal ascension cap fleet was successfully hot dropped but only lost three Naglfars and a Thanatos. And for a little bit of role reversal, CFC successfully dropped on a BL cap fleet and managed to kill a few of their ships. In Alliance Corp and Group News, BPA, or Black Pearl Alliance, has dissolved. Test users on Reddit are considering this a personal victory. BPA was recently kicked out by Spaceship Samurai and was promptly hazed by every other group in space, because they deserved it. The Valhalla Project and Warp to Me, two of the larger incursion groups in HiSec, have supposedly run into drama over the Valhalla Project trying to quote-unquote buy out Warp to Me leadership, with loot dropping from certain sites. Recently, Hero has lost their first system in catch. Hopefully they can stave this off and continue to grow as they've been doing and wowing the EVE world for the past few months. Last in this section, but certainly not least, is Vile Rat Day. Vile Rat Day took place on September 14th. Vile Rat was a popular CFC player who died while the US Embassy was under siege in Libya. In CCP news, CCP is rumored to be upgrading their server hardware, as confirmed by CCP Explorer, and CCP Veritas is leaving CCP for Riot Games. In CSM news, the Summer Summit is starting with seven CSM showing up. That is quite a tongue twister. CSM 9 member Matias Otero has resigned from CSM 9 due to real-life obligations and has been replaced by Sayanami Day, who came in 15th in the election. That is it for this week's EVE news. If I've missed anything, please be sure to comment and let me know what I've missed, and I'll try to get it fit into next week's 5-Minute EVE update. Thanks for listening, and again, I'm your host, Alias Zero.